Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's still spring in Japan and today is a really cloudy day. As promised, I'll talk about Alice and the Pirates today. One thing I love about Alice is Captain Chris. Who's Captain Chris, you ask? It's their mascot. It's that wolf. Ugh, oh, I love wolves, I love dogs, I love canines. Like, can't beat that guys. Not even Kuma Kumia. I'm sorry, but I love Captain Chris. So, there was one print by Alice which involved Captain Chris last year and I didn't get it of course for the same old reasons so it was really nice I loved it I loved the cut of the dress I'll put the picture up here somewhere and you can just take a look the green colorway Shack kisses guys kisses for my little Chrissy I love you so much I'm so sorry I didn't get that one but that is an awesome ass print and from what I saw online, it made it into this year's Fukubukuro. Sad, I couldn't get it on release day and I didn't get it during the new year in the lucky bag. So, because you know, I have this formula for Fukubukuro buying, I don't buy the same brand the next year because you know, to avoid getting the same items which is quite common when it comes to Fukubukuro or Lucky Bags so I usually skip the year I get them alternatively so if I bought um, Baby last year I wouldn't buy it this year just as how I bought Angelic Pretty this year I think I won't buy Angelic Pretty next year so unless I know what's in the bag if you missed my previous video I mentioned that I don't have a lot of Alice and the Pirates stuff what I do have are from the Fukubukuro I got last year. So if you want to know what those items are, check out the Fukubukuro video which is on my channel as well. I made a playlist to actually contain all of those like lucky bag unboxing videos. So check all those things out. Thank you! I'm on the Alice online store page so let's dive in! The thing with Alice is when you look at them, what do you think really? They have this air of glamour, you know, it's glamorous and also very classical in a way. And I guess they are on the mature side of Lolita fashion. Like, this is personal experience though. Whenever I wear angelic pretty stuff out, people will be like, wow you look like a child or you know you look like some kind of kid dressed up in bright clothing running around like a nut job you know stuff like that but when i wear alice people be like that's a nice dress oh wow that's really like you know normal it looks normal to them to an extent of course you know without my other accessories so i would say that it looks more mature to muggles, you know, Alice and the Pirates. It looks more mature and even though I don't believe in that, just because you wear angelic pretty, it doesn't mean you are nuts, you know. I mean, it's just Lolita fashion, you know, muggles, they don't know anything about us, so. Just out of curiosity, what registers as odd to you? <laughs> Here's why I don't quite focus on Alice so much it's because I'm into OTT if you look at their dresses they look pretty fancy you know they look normal it's not OTT at all like the Alice dresses I have I love them love them so much but I have to do a lot to make it OTT which is not a problem really I just don't tend to buy stuff like that and also they are prints if you see they're quite toned down they're not bright they're not super colorful so that's one thing as well and because I'm mostly into sweet Lolita I lean towards baby rather than Alice with all that said there's nothing wrong with Alice I still like them but I would actually not buy them as often as I would buy baby so the one print that I really enjoy from them would be this one Chris's Sweets Factory. This was released during Halloween last year and I like, I love 
the purple colorway. Dear Lolita Lord, look at that. It's so cute. It's like Chris dancing around with candies all over. And it's still in stock, like the purple one. I might get it, so I hope it makes it to sales or it turns up in next year's Bukubukuro. I am looking forward to that. Alice, come on, make it happen for me. I love it. I like wearing aprons. I don't wear them when I actually cook for myself, but I do wear them as part of my Lolita cohort. Weird but true. Look at that purple colorway. It's so nice and there's a bit of like fantasy to it, you know, and also it has this like dark air around it as well. So I love Gothic Lolita. I'm actually getting into Gothic Lolita recently. So this one, guys, this may be my opening. But if I wear this, ugh, I'm gonna put so much dark on. It's just so nice. It's fantastical and it's cute. Not only that, it has a slight tinge of darkness. And look at that, sweets everywhere, Chris prancing around, they're preparing for Halloween. Nice print. I didn't notice this before but if you zoom in, you can do it. It's still in stock, it's on the online store webpage. You can see the words, like they're saying biscuits, meringue, popcorn, cream puffs. <gasps> yes, I'll turn into a cream puff for you. Please, let me get this one. Let me get this one. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want her. <laughs> so, this is the OP for Chris's Sweets Factory. I prefer the JSK, but this one's not too bad. I like how they do the purple one with orange. It's really unique. Like, I didn't think orange and purple would work, but look at this. It looks really nice. And yeah, look at that. The model, I think that's Katonana. Is that Katonana? I'm not sure, but she looks great in it. Like, the core is just nice, fantastic. I love it. And it looks like some kind of scouts uniform. Yeah, scouts from the School of Darkness. You know, scouts who work for Lord Voldemort. Yeah, but yeah, bravo Alice, this is really nice. I like the color, it looks like dripping sugar I guess. You know, candy melting in the heat coming out from the production line. Yeah, what is wrong with me describing stuff like that? Next up guys, Secret Adventure and the Whiner. The Whiner? You mean someone's complaining? Ha <laughs> ha. I think it's winery, let's see, yeah, winery of happiness, yeah, that looks good, food prints, food prints, that's my thing, I love it, I love it, and it looks really nice too, like, I love wine, I mean, I drink, and, yeah, there's cheese, oh, great, cracker and cheese, anyone, <laughs> lavender, oh, this is, oh, this is grey, the lavender, let me take a look. I really like purple, lavender, it's my color. It's currently the color of choice in my life right now. And wow, this print is really nice. I like it, I like it so much. So, who knew? Who knew, right? I mean, who knew something like that would come out? Bye, you know. And also, I'm a drunk Lolita. I'm gonna add that to my Lolita portfolio, you know, I'm a foodie Lolita, a drink Lolita, a dessert Lolita. Next up, we have Memory Frame of Royal Crown. So this one, this print right here, it looks very classical, you know, it looks fancy. It has this air of maturity to it as well. Oh, and they have a limited edition bright green one. Can I have a look? Is it this one? Load! Oh, here it is. Bright green. There it is. Yeah, so that's it to it. It's not my thing because I'm not really into frames or cameos, but 
from afar, like at this distance, they look like biscuits, like those cream biscuits scattered around. So, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I might accidentally buy it, you know. And then, you know, when people ask me what's that print, I'll say these are cookies, these are biscuits. Oh, yes. <laughs> So, one thing about Alice as well, they do OG fashion, so it's like one of those jumpers you see there. Yeah, to make you look like a prince. So, OG is prince in Japanese. So, I think they're really cute. I mean, they look like pumpkin pants, you know, kapocha pansu. And really cute and I would totally buy one at some point because I want to try OG fashion as well. So. Also, like their sister brands, Baby, they do a lot of non-print stuff, but their non-print stuff are so nice. They're like, they're really fancy. Like I keep saying, Alice is really glamorous. It's like classical print and it's very Victorian, super Victorian, really pretty. You feel like a princess or, you know, you just feel like royal when you wear them. Can't deny that. I might get into them at some point, but for now, prints for life, food, desserts, yeah, I need to get some food in my belly. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!